This is Gunner, and every time he eats, he regurgitates. So we figured out a solution to this, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Gunner is one years old. He's about 150 pounds. He's probably going to hit 185 to 200. So he's eating three cups of kibble three times a day. So there's a lot of food here. This is typically how we would feed him, but about 15 minutes after he'd eat, he'd end up regurgitating almost all of the food. So we thought he had mega esophagus, uh, which he does not, but he does have a hard time with the kibble. So we've changed our preparation and uh, I'm gonna show you that, how we make it. Get yourself some uh, generic or whatever brand of your choice, beef bullion cubes. And then get yourself a, about a coffee cup, about two cups of water. You're gonna drop this in the water and then you're gonna go to your microwave and microwave this guy for two minutes. Heating up that water is gonna help that bullion cube uh, break down into a nice beefy flavored broth. All right, so that water is now just about boiling. The bullion cube hasn't broken down yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna smash it, smash it with a spoon and stir that all up. All right, once you've crushed up that bullion cube, you've got a nice hot broth. Now you're just gonna pour this over. And you wanna get that kibble nice and in that broth. Now, it's hot, you don't wanna give it to your dog right away. Let this sit now for about 20 minutes. What's going to happen is that kibble, uh, and this could be the kibble of your choice, by the way, whatever's healthiest for your dog. So I've got a, I've got a little bit more expensive large breed adult dog food that I'm feeding Gunner because he's about uh, 13 months old now. But anyways, let this sit now for about 20 minutes. All right, after about five minutes, you'll see that the kibble is starting to swell a little bit and the liquid level is going down. So it's absorbing into the kibble, making it softer and not such a pile of gravel, so to speak. And Gunner knows I'm preparing his breakfast now, so he has moved to the kitchen and is quietly waiting for me in his dog bed. Okay, so after about 20 minutes, you'll see all that water has absorbed into our kibble. So this is, it's still a kibble, but it's uh, now much softer than it was right out of the bag. All right, now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take a clean, slow feed bowl and uh, we are gonna move all of that kibble into this slow feed bowl. So if you haven't seen one of these before, this is simply gonna make it a little more challenging for Gunner to eat. He does tend to wolf down his food. And so this is gonna slow down his rate of chewing and swallowing and help that softer kibble get down his throat. All right, Gunner knows it's just about go time. So I've got all the kibble uh, placed into that slow feed bowl. And depending on how moist your dog's kibble is, again, this is three cups of food. So this is a bit of food. Uh, I like to actually put a little more water over the top and that'll actually run you know, down the sides and spread out. So what's nice about this is your dog's not only getting his kibble, but he's actually getting about two plus cups of water with it. All right, it's time to feed him. All right, he knows that we're gonna head over here to his feeding station, which I have up off the ground. And that's it. Ever since uh, we implemented this uh, feeding strategy, he has not regurgitated once. He has puked, of course, after eating some sticks and grass in the yard, but he no longer regurgitates after eating with the soft kibble and the slow feed bowl. So this little trick has really helped us and uh, I hope it can help some large breed dog owners or other dog owners out there as well. Take care, everybody.